Fair enough. Kip, back to you. Kip Sherlazingabinger here, and we have some new developments on the joyful burger robbery. Over to our eye in the sky. <sighs> That's right, Kip. It appears the police are still in pursuit of the suspects. With Elmore's finest hot on their heels, we expect they'll soon be brought to justice. <laughs> As you can see below, the police are continuing their hunt, despite some members of the public obstructing their path. Thanks, Mike. And uh, what is happening down on the ground? Uh... <laughs> well, Kip, the chase continues on foot. And knees. And hands. Kip Schwa la 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 burger here. More on that police chase later, but now to our overseas correspondent, Alpaca, reporting from the G8 summit. Ah, what important issues were raised today at the summit? Uh-huh. And what did the president have to say on the issue? Hmm. And what are the global implications of that? Thanks, Al. And now we go live to Hale County, Texas, where a farmer has won a prize for best livestock at the county fair. I, uh, think you boys might have got a couple things mixed up here. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to leave that story there. We have some shocking new developments in the Joyful Burger robbery. Mike. <laughs> yes, Kip. The police have called off the search after realizing the individual who reported the theft was an unusually rotund pink rabbit who dropped a french fry which was carried away by some ants. Here's an artist's impression of the incident. Kip, back to you. Thanks, Mike. Now it is time for the big question. And today we're joined by the Dean of Elmore University Science Faculty. Professor, thanks for joining us. Now, after vaccinations, electric cars, and the dark magic behind Wi-Fi, I guess the big question is, should we be scared of science? No. More questions and answers there, the debate rages on. Be sure to tune in this time tomorrow for our next big question. Oxygen, friend or foe? In other news, the town of Elmore is about to be hit by a waste disposal strike. I just, I think we've all had enough, you know? But we can't complain about it because our voices are completely drowned out. The job can be suffocating, yeah. I've, I've seen a lot. I've seen a whole lot. I've been working on the executive floor for 20 years and all I got for Secret Santa was food poisoning. Yeah, the way we've been treated leaves a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> the toilet seats of Elmore are expected to hold a protest march here in front of the town hall within the next few minutes. I've just been informed that it will now be a sit-in. Kip, back to you. Thanks, Mike. Celebrity news now, and the beloved children's entertainer Daisy the Donkey has suffered what can only be described as an onset meltdown. Good morning, little children! Good morning, Daisy! <laughs> Welcome to Daisy the Donkey Show! Yay! Today, I've got a special surprise, kids! <sighs> I can't believe this. Did you read the script? You're supposed to come in after my line! Sorry, man. I was just improvising. You know, winging it. So, kids, is everybody so Okay, 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 okay. First off, you don't call me man. You call me Miss Daisy. And secondly, you stick to the dark script! Dude, we're live. I don't care if we're live! You're an amateur! Surfing on my wave! And right now, you're ruining my show! Hey, did you just push yeah. me? Yeah. Because yeah. I'll push you right yeah. back! Ah! Go to commercial! Okay, go to card! Now, please! Now! Miss Donkey, whose real name is Antoine Perez, has been sentenced to two weeks community service. And now we have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that stock markets have fallen. But the good news is that these graphs will tell you all about it in the form of a song.